Okay, gents, this is a quick tutorial for you on the bottle opener for year eight. It's a little project we've been doing uh, metal work wise with um, 30 millimeter wide, bright drawn mild steel, five millimeters thick. We're going to have a look at drawing that for an auto dimpling length and then, and then we can use the tutorial then to just copy what I do and create that yourself. Okay, so first of all, open up auto vesting enter. Your home screen might look slightly different to mine, but don't worry. Click new. Make sure you've selected the metric tab. Make sure you use standard MMIPT. If it's on English, you'll have that in inches. You don't want to be working in inches. You want to be working in metric in millimeters. When that loads up, you will have your ribbon at the top. Okay. In the top corner here, you'll have start sketch. You'll have your X, Y, and Z axes there, but you want this X, Z plane to be shifted. So the horizontal plane you want to be X, Y. So you just go over here, click your little house button, and it'll rotate that around for you. When you start the sketch, you want to be sketching on the X, Y plane. Select that. Select your rectangle tool. Find the origin. Click. Don't double click it. Just click once and drag it. Leave that top measurement blue and type in on your keyboard 85. That'll be 85 millimeters. Which is above caps lock is the two arrows pointing away from each other. And that takes you to the next measurement. And in there you want to press 30 because the width of your material is 30 and the length is 85. Yours has gone off the screen now. Press and hold the wheel of the mouse and drag that down. And zoom in and out using the wheel on the mouse. Um, the next part then is to fillet this. So fillet as you've got 30 millimeter thickness uh, width of material. Your radius on the ends needs to be at 50. Done this with the dividers in the workshop. Just click those radiuses in. The next thing we did was we drilled a hole of 8 mil diameter in there. So if you click it once, select the circle tool over there, click it once, press 8, enter, done. Hover on that line now and you'll see that dotted line. Click and draw another circle, press 8 on your keyboard, press enter. Dimension that up from center point to center point. Make sure now this is from the center points of the circle, not the inside edges or the outside edges. Line tool, top of the circle, horizontal line, make sure it's 180 degrees and make sure it's 20 length. Okay. And then the bottom, from the center point of that circle to the bottom of your workpiece there, click and drag up diagonally as if you were going to cut that. Don't worry too much about the length where it says 19.920 uh, millimeters. Press the tab key because the main thing here you're worried about is that angle. Angles on a straight line are 180. I told you to measure a mark 60, so the remainder of that is 120. So it wants me to measure that 120. Right click to finish that sketch. Sorry. Uh, right click to finish that sketch and then use your line tool again to come from the center point of the circle and come out and just add across. Right click and OK. The next thing then is the slope at the top. So follow the center point of the circle there. Click there. Drag down diagonally. But then dimension from that point there to that point there and make that five millimeters. Also, then from that point there to that point there, make that 20. Make sure that okay, should be 20. I'm coming from the center of the circle to the outside. Now, what we need to do here is be very careful and trim. We need to trim that section there, that section there. Cut that away. Cut that. Cut there. Cut that. Cut there. And we won't be able to cut that until we get rid of that dimension. So select that. Delete that dimension. Back to the trim tool, that. okay, and that little bit there we don't need. And then what we can do is finish that sketch. It'll automatically, uh, it won't automatically select because you don't want it 10 mil, you want it 5, enter, and you've got a 3D version of your bottle open. Now, the edges on this aren't that nice, so what you might want to do is go around the chamfer probably at one mil or even half a millimeter and just select those edges and just put small chamfer on the edge. Just put 
and off the edges. You don't want to be handling something sharp edged metal material, especially not when you're making a noise. You can apply that chamfer there if you do a point. To save your work, um, just click the little save icon. It'll give you an error and say you're not allowed to save, but up here you will have um, documents. It'll just be documents like that, but you're not allowed to save in documents. So you just click that, drag it right the way down to your Y drive, which will be your username. So select that. Um, I'm not going to put mine in my Y drive. I'm going to save it somewhere else. Save that as bottle opener. Okay. And just click save, and then you're done.